Kate Orth is being shot with her six maiden nieces, and Chuck Bass will be shot by himself. All by himself? He has an uncle. Nope, Chuck Bass is representing his family all alone. The Suttons are next. They want to be shot with their English setters. The setters are better looking than the Suttons. Oh. But they love each other anyway, just proving that everyone has their soulmate. Yeah, did you join a cult in Bali? Oh, come on, Blair. I know you believe in true love, too. Well, I did recently have a moment of perspective myself. But thankfully, I didn't have to go to an ashram to have it. What happened? I kissed someone. And it was truly a life-changing experience. Do you tell. I just did. Hey, Chuck. Uh, what, what are you doing here? Man, come in. Yeah. I've learned some information about my past that's making me reconsider my future. My future with Blair. However, my intel indicates that she's seeing someone else. What's that got to do with me? I think it could be someone at W. Didn't you work there? Uh, yeah, for one day. Did you notice her in talking to anyone? Whoever she kissed seems to have had an effect. Life-changing were the words she used. Uh, well, <laughs> a life-changing kiss might not be something you want to mess with. What are you trying to say, Humphrey? With you, she was she was always caught up in schemes and takedowns. But that's not that's not really her. She's intelligent. She's intuitive. You know, she she weeps when she watches Knights of Kiberia. How do you know that? Uh, Serena told me. But listen, the the point is, if Blair's happy, I mean, maybe you should let her be. Care more about Blair's happiness than I knew. Mm. Thank you for your time. Everly, I found out who Blair kissed. I'm going to need one more favor. Hey, uh, I wanted to talk to you for a second, but I can see you got your hands full. The Lansbury's had too much licorice. Well, what's up? I'm here to get my photo taken. Uh, for the up-and-comer section, you know? This isn't a photo shoot for a high school yearbook. There is no up-and-comer section. And even if there were, I mean, let's face it, Humphrey, you still wouldn't make the cut. <laughs> Tell me you didn't do this just to humiliate me. But no. I don't even know what this is. Everly called me and told me I was in this shoot. What, you, did, you didn't have anything to do with that? No. And I don't know why Everly would... and call Dan and tell him that he was a... An up-and-comer? What the hell is your problem? Are you trying to humiliate him? What is that it? I don't care about him one way or the other. I just wanted you to see he's not part of this world. I know you kissed him. So? You and I are not dating. And you kiss a lot of people. You're not supposed to kiss him. He's humdrum Humphrey. Everly told me it was life-changing. Because it made me realize I wanted to be with you. Dan and I both know it meant nothing, less than nothing, right? Yeah, that's right. I was going to tell you all about it tonight, but that would have been a huge mistake. Dan Humphrey may not be royalty, but at least he's not a child. It's not too late. You don't have to be powerful on your own first. We can build our futures together. The saddest part is that I'd come to the same conclusion. But now that I know I'm ready, I realize you're not. And what? I thought that after everything you went through, Prague, Eva, Russell, that maybe you'd changed. <laughs> Who was I kidding? Don't say that. You have years before you're capable of a real relationship. If you ever will be. I'm sorry, Chuck. Why does love have to be so hard, Dorota? All I ever wanted was a simple fairy tale. Kate Middleton has it, and I have much shinier hair. Although she does have a better assortment of hats. Don't despair, Miss Blair. Destiny full of surprises. You never know who you'll encounter along the way. Who knows? Maybe fairy tales come true after all.
XOXO Gossip Girl. Stop.